this lecture, I'm going to go over creating backgrounds in Photoshop for use in web pages. I'm going to begin by creating a new file. And I want it to be small. I want it to have a width. Now I'm going to set my web page width to 960 pixels, so I want it to be exactly that wide. But my height, I only want to be 5 pixels, and it doesn't need to be really super high on the resolution, so I'm going to set it to 96. I've got a transparent background, and I'm going to hit OK. Now often, all you really want is a nice gradient going through there. So I'm going to create a very simple gradient. I sort of like a purplish background, and we're going to go from like a white to a purple, and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to look at my gradients. Let's want that to be again, purplish, a little bit reddish purple, and more white. Hit OK. So I've now got my colors set up for my gradient, and I'm going to drag it across here. And I have a nice gradient going from dark to light. I'm going to save this file for the web. Right now I'm just going to drop it to my desktop. And I want ping 24. This is critical. It has to be ping 24 with the, 20, with the transparency selected. And I'm going to save that. I'm just going to drop it onto my desktop and call it horizontal. Okay, now I'm going to minimize Photoshop. I'm going to open up Dreamweaver. And I'm going to create a new plain old HTML file. I'm going to hit create. No particular reason for the HTML5 except I've just moved to using that for everything. This will work just fine in any of the various formats. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go into my cascading style sheets and I want to look at the container which is because I set it to 960 wide. So you'll notice it matches my width here. And I'm going to double click on the container, which will let me go in and set my background settings. And I'm going to pick that image off of my desktop. And that should be hmm. There we go. Horizontal.png. Hit open, hit apply, hit OK. Now obviously if you do something like this you're going to want to change the font colors and typically if I were going to use this particular one, and let's take a quick look at how it looks. Well, let's actually look at our settings here for a second. Um, with this you want to make sure that your background repeat is Y. It obviously did that automatically. We don't need to set the background position X or Y. Okay. Then we're going to preview this in Firefox. And we'll just drop this on the desktop too because I'm going to delete it. And there we've got a nice transition and the file size will be really small. Now if I were really using this for a layout I would do a column over here on the left hand side and I would change the text color here. So about here it would be break with a buffer and I would make this text color in the column on this side. In this div I'd make the text color white and I'd leave this text color black. Not necessarily a fantastic layout but let's take a look at this one more time. We're going to go through this the other way. We're going to do a new file and this time I'm going to make it 5 pixels wide and I'm going to make it really tall just in case I get a long page. I'm going to make it 2000 pixels tall and I'm going to go ahead and just drop in the same colors. Actually, I want to reverse that. I want the dark colors on the bottom. There we go. And so I will call this vertical I didn't want to do a save as. I want to do a save for the web. 
and I'm going to check it's pin 24 vertical and I'm going to go ahead and save this. That looks great. Call it vert. Save it on the desktop and then I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver and I'm going to make the body background a different color. Again, this isn't good web design per se. I'm just trying to show you how to do it and then you can incorporate it into a good design. Now, if I want to make it for the whole page, I'm going to go into the body to set the background for that. And again, I've set it really large. I'm going to browse for my image on my desktop, which I've named vert.h or .png. And this is alphabetized, so it's right there. I'm going to open that. And this one should repeat X. And that looks good. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to go preview this in Firefox. And we're going to take a quick look. So you can see that I have a transition applied and it will show a minor fade as it goes out. And that's how you do a background in Photoshop.